Janelle and this is to DIY for and you might recognize today's DIY from a previous DIY video when I made my hanging shelf. It is all of the decor that sits on my hanging shelf. I will leave that video linked below if you wanted to check it out but today it is all about the pressed leaf art. It is so simple to do. Uh, also a really affordable way to make some wall art and it is great for people who can't keep plants alive. That's me but you still wanna have, you know, leafy greens as part of your decor. So this is the way to do it and you don't have to water anything. It's great. I did it in kind of two different techniques. Um, I will also be letting you know at the end of the video what they look like after about a month's time. So I did this a while ago specifically so I could let you know how dried out things get, if they lose their vibrancy. So stick around to the end of the video to hear that. So you're going to need some different style frames, also some scissors, tissue paper, books, and of course your real leaves cut from a plant. Uh, definitely you could try it with fake leaves as well, but obviously it's not going to give the authentic look. So with these real leaves, I'm just putting them in the book with a piece of tissue paper there because there's going to be moisture. You don't want to wreck the book and uh, that will take care of that. So I push it inside of the book. This works great for smaller leaves. Press it down a little bit and I added some extra weight on the top and left that overnight. I maybe should have left it a little bit longer, but I grew a little bit impatient. But here's what it looks like when it's done the leaves were definitely a lot flatter and I just placed them in my frame. So here I used a double paned glass frame and I uh, really like the way that this looks and this is a frame I picked up at the dollar store so you just put it back together and when you flip it around that's how it turned out. The other way isn't much of a technique, but because the leaves were so big, I just decided to put them in the frame. So here I actually had to create a backing for the frame that I picked up at the thrift store. I wanted white, so I'm just cutting out the size there to fit the glass with my, the back of the frame. And then, as you can see, this palm leaf is huge. You need a really big book to do this, don't have that. So I decided to just tape each leaf down to that piece of white paper that I'm backing and the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to prevent it from moving around when I actually assemble it and this way I can control how far apart the leaves are spaced out because it's very flimsy when you're not pressing it. So I flipped it around, popped it back into the frame and as you can see when you flip it over it keeps all of those leaves just where you wanted them and that's it. basic and straightforward. Had I been able to find more frames with the double glass, I would have preferred to do that, but that's just what I found at the thrift store. And uh, the leaves, what do they look like now after about sitting in the frames for about a month? So you can definitely tell the palm leaves have dried up, they've shriveled up a little bit as well, lost a little bit of their vibrancy, but still a very nice dark green, which works with my decor. Uh, I don't think they look too bad, but they did shrivel and shrink a little bit. The other leaves actually look like the exact same as the day that I clipped them off of the plant. So I'm not sure if that's the type of leaf or because I actually pressed it in the books. Might be a combination of both, but that's just what I found. So if you enjoyed this DIY, give it a like. And also if you try it for yourself, send me some photos of what your pressed leaf art looks like. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. And then don't forget to tag me in those so I can check out your DIYs. Subscribe, I will be back next Wednesday with a new video. Cheers. Which, uh, damn it. Arr, it was almost there.